my first official weigh-in. I'm expecting about 95 pounds. Okay, so here comes most of my weight in, in uh, for shed bores. So first, since I don't have a fancy scale, I'm gonna weigh myself first. All right. Ooh. Then here is the good old bushel. Big old thing, sitting around. It's pretty heavy, I'd have to say. What is that? 22 pounds. 22 pounds of bananas. This thing, one thing you gotta watch out for bananas, they ooze, they get that stuff on your clothes, and it'll bleach anything it touches. So anyhow. All right, here we go. So this is the banana tree. I harvested the banana bushel off of. It's gone, now I just gotta cut it down, chop it up into the soil, help fertilize the ground a little bit. Um, I put a post here. These bananas, um, once they spike, or they really get top heavy. And so I just need a board to prop it up and make sure it doesn't fall over. Cause I've noticed too, if they lean over too far with the bananas, here, hopefully by October. Check this out. Another spike. So you can see up in there, here's some more bananas. This one looks good actually. This is a decent sized spike. So uh, we should get some good weight, if not another 20 pounds out of that one. Maybe even more. So that spike is actually coming from this tree here. So the one that I've got propped up is actually does not have anything just yet. But this is what I really, really like about bananas. And I did not know this um, until a few years ago. But bananas can only grow one bushel Per tree. So the one back there that I just cut the bushel out of, it has to be chopped down uh, because it will not produce anything else. So the seeds of these trees actually grow right next to them. So if you look here, you can see this little guy right here. That is a seed. So that will grow up, become an adult produce bananas and then that one will produce a little seed off to the side so if you look here this is the one that spiked so look what grows right next to it another banana tree so they're just continually produce and just go 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 and uh, produce a lot of food and then a lot of this stuff when I once they produce when I chop it down I mulch it up really really good and then just lay it down in the garden to help fertilize the soil along with all these other brown leaves. This uh, yucca plants are absolutely incredible when it comes to how much they produce. So they just grow crazy and then I could um, really just chop down some of these. Um, with yucca, all I have to do is take my machete, cut off here, plant this side in the ground, and within 30 days, it's already rooted and, and uh, growing like crazy. Down here, we got our good old pineapple. It's a little guy, but I'm gonna harvest that soon. So it's kind of turning yellow. 
and then I'll plant off. I'll plant the top of it. I'm sure that's going to be absolutely delicious. Still waiting for this guy to produce a flower. Um, eventually it will, but. All right. Everything else uh, has not been growing that well. So the mulberry bush, I had to trim back pretty heavily. Um, it wasn't doing so well. So this should help, help revive it a little bit. And then of course my my good old fig tree is doing really well. A lot of new growth in the in the last few few months. And then I got my little avocado tree that I just transplanted. Still doing good with my sweet potatoes. I'll probably start digging and harvesting some soon. Um, I took one of the shoots or this I don't know what you call them. I heard people call them slips, but basically took a, a trimming of that that had roots kind of grown in the ground transplanting and this thing is growing like crazy in my garden bed. Transplanted uh, all my turmeric. So my turmeric is doing extremely well. Moving over. Now to my peppers. A lot of good peppers here. I need to actually go and get my trimmers and pull these off and weigh them in because these things have been producing like crazy. Some of them are turning red, some of them are green, but they definitely produce quite a bit. Then over here, got all my, what's left of my carrots. Some of them didn't make it, but I think next year or maybe when I'm done here, this heat really hasn't done well for the, the carrots. But um, this September, I'm gonna go ahead and plant a few more rows and see how well they do in these pots, or these raised beds, I mean. And then this guy didn't, didn't really do so well. I'm gonna move him over. But I've got some eggplant here. Looks like I actually need to harvest this right now. You can only turn this so much, isn't it? Okay. This eggplant should be producing something soon. It's doing pretty well. Um, I actually need to take both of these and plant them in the pots. My potatoes are gone. Um, that's where they had it planted, but they didn't produce anything. All right, that's about it for now. Okay, guys, here's some more to add to the weight. Put some dragon fruit and some guava. So now I'm just going to weigh it up. Oh, make sure you can see that. Zeroed out. I'm gonna put it all on here. Cool. Okay, so for dragon fruit, I gotta write this down. Two point zero five two pounds five ounces. Okay. And some guava. Eleven ounces. Add more to the pile. We just got our first little pineapple. It is one pound, five ounces, roughly. Now it's time to eat it. All right, guys, quickly, pick the eggplant. 1.9 ounces. It all adds up one way or the other. This is what I pulled from the garden today. So let's load it up. Zero it out. Almost a pound. Not even a pound. I was going to say almost a pound, but not, not quite. All right. Well, let's weigh some more. All right, guys, that's my garden update for now. Catch you next time. See ya.